Here you are, standing on the precipice of something so much bigger than anyone here. But always remember, you are not alone. I don't think that we met. I'm Sarah. Niles. Hi. Hi. Guess you followed me. It's one of those infinite time loop situations you might have heard about. That I might have heard about? Yeah. Stop! There's a bomb in the cake. Don't worry. I used to be a bomb guy. Stand back! Ah! Oh my god! Gonna make way It's gonna be a beautiful weather. How's it going out there in YouTube land and also it's going social media lands? Welcome to an all new mood review. So in this movie review, we're going to be talking about an amazing 2020 film that came out on Hulu this past year. Now this awesome film is just a great comedy, rom-com type of deal that has a lot of great, amazing acting in it, lots of great humor, and just is a really well-rounded kind of a film. So we're going to get right into that. But before we do that, let's make sure we hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on this video or any other awesome videos I put. As always, people, if this my stuff interests you, go ahead and check out my other platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram as well. So give those a whirl too, people. And like I said before, let's get right into this. So welcome to an all new movie review folks out there in YouTube land and all social media lands. Welcome. So like I was saying before, we're going to be doing a movie review of a Hulu exclusive that came out last year. And then of course the film called Palm Springs. Oh yeah, Palm Springs. Ooh. So this is a comedy rom-com type of deal that was exclusively to Hulu last year and it's just a really fun kind of time loop comedy. So it's along the lines of like Groundhog Day and stuff like that, you know, kind of fun films like that and this was just a really fantastic film. So this was directed none other by a gentleman that hasn't really directed anything else but a few other like 20 to 10 minute long little snippet type of films. And this is his directorial debut as well. And that of course is the gentleman known as Max Barbacow. Oh yeah, Max Barbacow! Woohoo! So Max Barbacow, like I said, hasn't directed anything else. This is his feature film debut. And he's actually directed, like I said, a few other like 20 to 7 to 10 minute long little videos for different things that have little stories to them. Uh, one is called The Duke. Another one is called Cuddle Buddy. Uh, but he really hasn't, he hasn't directed anything else. But he is a film graduate that has had a lot of great uh, success in his short films. And I think that's probably why he got the opportunity to direct this film. But when it comes to directing this film, I thought he did a really great job. I thought he had a great attitude. I thought he had a great idea of where he wanted to go with it. And I thought that he directed it beautifully and edited it very well too as well. And gave us a really well-rounded time loop comedy rom-com type of deal with some great acting and just a really well-rounded film. Uh, really great direction by him, and I thought he did a decent job. Uh, if you haven't heard of Max Barbacow, definitely check him out on uh, you know Google or IMDb and see his other stuff and other stuff that he's been involved with. It's been it's kind of interesting stuff. So this movie has a really great cast, and there's a lot of great people in it. There's like little snippets of different cameos and so forth of people, but this is just a really well-rounded film, and just really well casted. Now, to start us off is none other than the main lead himself, Mr. Andy Samberg. Oh, yeah, Andy Samberg. Absolutely love Andy Samberg. He's so amazing. He's awesome. He's fantastic. He is an amazing comedian. He's great at everything he does. He's a one-third of the great comedy troupe, um, uh, music duo group, uh, The Lonely Island. We all know him as Jake Peralta from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. He has been in a lot of great things. He was at SNL for many years. He's just an amazing... Uh, actor, comedian, all around. Now, a lot of things I've seen him in, everything pretty much I enjoy with him. I think he's fantastic in everything he's been in, uh, and he just is a really 
fun guy. Now, a couple things I really enjoyed him in, and a couple movies that I really enjoyed him in, are as follow. So the first film is going to be a great film that came out in uh, 2007, and then it's directed by Akiva uh, from The Lonely Island. And also is, is the, the uh, basically I believe it's the directorial debut of Akiva in that film too as well. But that film happens to be called The Amazing, The Awesome, Hot Rod! Oh yeah! Hot Rod! Ooh. Oh my god, Hot Rod is so freaking hilarious absolutely love that film. It's so on point, so hilarious. Such a great, you know, first outing as the lead actor in a film for Andy Samberg. He has such a great ensemble cast that he works with from Bill Hader to, uh, you know, Isla Fisher in it. Uh, you had just a really well-rounded cast that was on point in that film. And Andy was so sticking hilarious as the character in it. You know, basically, you know, him trying to be a stunt man just like his supposed old man was. And just everything about it was so irreverent and funny and hilarious and just that great comedy gold. And everything that he did, he was so sick and hilarious from the, you know, when he crashes to, you know, when he's like, supposedly he's sad and hurt from somebody saying something to, you know, just any lines he said in the film were on point perfection in that film. He was so sick and hilarious in it. If you haven't seen Hot Rod, definitely give it a rule, people. Andy Samberg was so fantastic in the film. He was so amazing. The second film that Andy Samberg was in that I really enjoy him in is a great 2012 film with Adam Sandler and has another great ensemble cast in it. And then of course the film called That's My Boy! Oh yeah! That's My Boy! Oh my god, That's My Boy is so freaking hilarious. A great R-rated comedy film with lots of super hilarious lines. Great comedic timing and just a really awesome cast. I mean, from Vanilla Ice Spin in it to, uh, you know, uh, Milo Vigimani in it to, uh, you know, everyone that was in, in involved with it. Tony Orlando. So freaking hilarious. And Andy Samberg as playing Adam Sandler's son was so freaking funny. And just every scene they had together was just pitch perfect perfection and just their dialogues and their lines that were on point too for like what it'd be like if a real you know young kid had a son at you know like 12 years old 13 years old and he had you know he was a horrible parent and like what his kid would feel like towards him and all that kind of stuff and it was just so freaking hilarious i mean there's some great one-liners in it you know you know with andy just like he's like you are the worst dad in the world, and and to like you know him talking about the back tattoo that he got because he has to wear still wear swim shorts when he takes a shower and all that kind of stuff was just so perfect, so hilarious. If you haven't seen That's My Boy, Devil Girl World People, it's such a fantastic comedy film. Annie Sandberg was amazing in it. Adam Sandler was. Everyone involved with it was so on point funny. Uh, if you haven't seen it, Devil Girl World, it's worth the watch. Now, it comes to his performance in Palm Springs, I really enjoyed Andy in the film. I thought he did a really good job. I liked how he had his regular, you know, comedy element to it, but then there was times that he was very serious, and I really enjoyed his serious moments. And I just thought he brought a really great realism to the character of what it would be like for a person if you were stuck in, like, something like that, a time loop, couldn't die, couldn't get out of the time loop, and so like that, how you would feel, how you would deal with it. And I just really enjoy it. And I thought that he was did an amazing on-the-point job with that performance. Uh, if you haven't seen Palm Springs yet for Andy and you're a huge Andy Samberg fan, definitely check him out. He was worth the watch in it. So that brings me to the second actor that I'm going to talk about in this film. And that, of course, is the other main character herself, Miss Kristen Melody. Oh, yeah! Kristen Melody! Uh, this is the first thing I've ever seen Kristen Melody in. Uh, I have not seen it. I, I, I actually have seen her in other things, but did not realize that was her. Uh, but this is actually the first thing I've actually seen her kind of like in the lead role in. And surprisingly, I can't believe I have seen other things that she's been in, but did not recognize her from this role. But a couple of films that she was in that I really enjoyed the film, thought they were really good films. It's a great film that came out in 2012, 2013, I think it was around, maybe even a little bit later, 2014, that has an amazing ensemble cast of Juno Temple, Michael Argenino, 
and it's just a really fun kind of like fantasy action comedy kind of rom-com kind of dramedy to it and then of course the film called the brass teapot oh yeah the brass teapot Ooh. so Kristen actually plays kind of like a side character in the film uh, that is knows Juno Temple and Michael Arginito's characters. Like I said, I barely remember that she was in it. It wasn't a huge role, but I just I still remember though that the role was pretty funny and that she did it was a great addition to that cast and had fun interactions with the main cast members and that she did do a decent, pretty good job. If you haven't seen the Brass Depot, give it a whirl, people. It's uh, worth the watch and also definitely worth checking out another performance by Kristen Melody. So the second film that Kristen Melody was in, that is another one I totally forgot she was in, but she did play a huge main kind of character in this film. And that, of course, is a film called Wolf of Wall Street. Oh yeah, Wolf of Wall Street. Ooh. So Wolf of Wall Street, if you haven't seen it, is a based on true story film that stars Leonardo DiCaprio as this kind of, this hustler guy, basically, that got into, uh, you know, the type of work he does. Not, kind of like a business type of deal and basically he embezzled tons of money from people and ended up going to jail for it but Kristen Melody actually plays one of his wives in the film and I totally forgot that she was actually in it because once again I did not recognize her because she looks so different in this versus this but she played the character of the wife pretty well I I thought she was pretty enjoyable I thought she brought kind of a great realism to you know what a woman would be like if they were dealing with somebody that was an embezzler or did all these crimes and so forth and I thought that she did a pretty decent job of bringing you know reality to the screen because their relationship was really rocky you know and uh, unfortunately you know they uh, ended up going different ways but at the same time they still kind of had a decent relationship you know, even though it was, you know, what he was doing was wrong and horrible, they still did a decent job of bringing that to life in the film, and I thought Kristen did a good job of that. Really interesting film. If you haven't seen The Wolf of Wall Street, definitely worth the watch. Decent film, uh, and interesting performance by Kristen Melody. Now, it comes to a performance in Palm Springs, I thought she was pretty funny. I thought she was pretty good. Uh, there was definitely times I disliked her character, and there was definitely times I thought she was really funny and fun and a great addition to the film. Uh, but other than that, I didn't think she's anything that great. I thought they could have had a little more powerful actress in the role. But at the same time, she still did a decent enough job to make the film entertaining and enjoyable and was de definitely a decent you know, opposite of Andy Samberg in the film. Uh, not a bad performance. I would definitely give her probably... I would say a 6 out of 10 for her performance in the film. Other than that, I thought she was okay and decent. Uh, definitely uh, not a bad choice and not the best choice, but still not too bad and shabby. So that brings me to the final actor I'll be talking about in this movie. And that is none other than the great, amazing guy that plays J. Jonah Jameson in the Spider-Man films. That, of course, you all know him as the State Farm guy. No, I'm just kidding. No, just kidding. Uh, you ready for it? <laughs> Mr. J.K. Simmons! Oh yeah! J.K. Simmons! Woo! I absolutely love J.K. Simmons. I think he's amazing. I think he's awesome. I love pretty much everything he's in. I always think he plays amazing characters. Is always on point. Is always fun to watch. Now, of course, J.K. Simmons is an amazing actor and a couple films I really enjoyed him and thought he was really good in it was none other than a couple great comedy films. Now the first one is a great film from 2009 called I Love You Man. Oh yeah, I Love You Man. Ooh, I absolutely love this film. It's a great film. Uh, you know, it stars Paul Rudd, Jason Siegel, and J.K. Simmons actually plays uh, Paul Rudd's dad. And he is super hilarious in the film. I absolutely love his character. He's like, there's a great scene where he's talking about his best friends. He's like, he's like, I've been talking to my friend J.K. Mardukas, you know, for 25 years from IBM, and Robbie's my other friend, you know. And uh, it's just a super hilarious role as a dad. He's absolutely hilarious in it. I thought he did a really fantastic job. Really enjoyed his performance of the film, and just thought he was a great addition to that film. If you haven't seen I Love You Man yet, definitely give it a world, people. It's such an amazing film. So fantastic. 
So that brings me to the second film J.K. Simmons is, was in that I really enjoyed. Now this film is not considered a huge success. It also is a remake of a 1950s film uh, comedy type of deal. And J.K. Simmons plays a main character in this film, which I think doesn't get enough recognition for how awesome he was in this film. And that, of course, is 2004's The Lady Killers. Oh yeah, The Lady Killers. Ooh. So Lady Cures is a Tom Hanks-led film, like I said, a remake from the 1950s. And basically, it's about these a whole bunch of these criminals that get together trying to rob a bank, basically. And J.K. Simmons plays one of the robber guys, and he is so freaking hilarious in it. He, like, is, like, this kind of, like, almost drill sergeant type of, like, dude that's very, like, you know, soldier-like and stuff like that. But still, at the same time, he has some really great one-liners throughout the film. And it's just a really fun, uh, you know character and he just was working off of everyone so well and bringing such great comedy and great just performance to the character i absolutely loved his character and i thought he made the film fun if you haven't seen the lady killers definitely give a role for jk simmons performance he was top notch in it now it comes to his performance in palm strings i absolutely loved him hands down he was absolutely fantastic perfection amazing he was so awesome in this film and he just played you know, opposite of Andy Samberg so well. And just his character and the whole idea behind it was so freaking hilarious too. And just every time he was in a scene, he was just such a delight to watch. And I absolutely just thought he brought a really great essence to the character and gave us a really fantastic performance. If you haven't seen Palm Springs yet, definitely check it out for J.K. Simmons. He was amazing the film. And he was just so good. Definitely check out his performance, people. It's worth the watch. So what is Palm Springs about? Basically, the premise story is about these three individuals who are stuck in this constant time loop of this one wedding day in Palm Springs in California. And basically, it's about them trying to figure out how to get out of this time loop and kind of the craziness that ensues while, while they're trying to get out of this time loop. And they're also trying to figure out why they're stuck in this time loop. So it's a really awesome storyline i love it i love that it's like groundhog day type of deal and i think it's absolutely hilarious that they kind of brought it a little more to modern times and gave us a little better special effects and give us this really great kind of rom-com story with a great ensemble cast and i just thought it was really fun really fantastic really well done well directed well uh written really well edited and just an all-around great comedy film if you haven't seen palm springs yet people definitely give it a roll people it's worth a watch really fantastic and hopefully it'll come out in dvd blu-ray soon i'm definitely be picking that up to add to my collection so that's it for this movie review guys always thank you for watching thank you for liking also thank you for subscribing and if this is your first time here or if you've been here before don't forget to check out what some older or newer stuff you might not have seen mine yet and as always people if my content interests you and you love it, why don't you show some support by checking out my Patreon page for my tea tree store, uh, tea spring, tea public, whatever it's called. You know, that good tea saves the time. So that's it for this movie, you guys. Always thank you for watching, thank you for liking, also thank you for subscribing. And if this is your first time here, or if you've been here before, don't forget to check out my older, newer videos you might not have seen mine yet. And as always, people, if you love my content and definitely love it and want to show some support, definitely check out my stores down below from my T public store to my amazing Patreon page where you can get exclusive behind the scenes bloopers and all kinds of cool stuff. So definitely check that out, people. It's pretty cool. And also, if you want to see some cool merchandise, definitely check out T public as well, people. I got some really cool stuff there. So definitely check that out, too, if you want to show some support. As always, catch you in the next one.